Hello, I'm Jennifer Fonts, the Graduate Enrollment Specialist with Texas A&M University Commerce. How is everybody today? Yay, I'm so excited. I'm so sorry I can't be here in person, but I'm recording this and I hope it turns out okay for you all. I'm actually in Mesquite today, uh, working with Mesquite ISD on a special program called ETIP um, that they have for their teachers there. So I'm so sorry I had to miss you guys today, but I've got some really good information and I've got some handouts for you. So I hope that information will help you. And then at the end of this presentation, my email is accessible and my telephone number as well. So let's connect, let's get a Zoom call together and um, let's get you into graduate school. So let's get started. We have 40 graduate programs within five colleges and those five colleges within a and Commerce include the College of Business, the College of Humanities, the College of Education and Human Services, the College of Science and Engineering, and the College of Agricultural Science and Natural Resources. To give a good plug for these colleges, the one thing that I'll say that I love working for the College of Education and Human Services is that we have a lot of graduate degrees that you can mix and match. In the Department of Curriculum and Instruction, we have two degrees, the Masters of Secondary Ed, that allows for 18 hours of elective credit. So you could pick up 18 hours in business, graduate level. You could pick up 18 hours of English or Spanish or art. You could pick up 18 hours of biology or physics or 18 hours in agriculture to add to your 36 hour program to complete that 36 hour program. Same thing with the Masters of Curriculum and Instruction. That program is um, dedicated and targeted towards those in elementary education and in the secondary ed, you're looking at people that are pursuing junior high, high school level. Um, basically, it's a curriculum and instruction master's for, for either. And then we have early childhood education and reading and then a doctorate. And I'll talk about those in the next slide. So these are the programs that I cover for um, the graduate school, including graduate certificates, professional certification, and alternative certification program. Mainly what I am is like a liaison, and I work with the departments and the program coordinators to promote our programs and to help students enroll in um, courses once they get admitted into the graduate level program that they are seeking. I will tell you that those of you that have your teacher certification or have taken your Texas and have obtained a passing score on your um, Texas exams, we will use those now in lieu of the graduate record exam, the GRE, for most of these educational programs that you see listed. Now, when it comes to doctoral degrees, we require the GRE, but there is no minimum score requirement um, for application. We also require a resume, a statement of goals. Some programs require a teacher service record. Some programs require references. So you just have to look at the um, admissions documentation that's found on our graduate school webpage. But if you email me or call me, I can connect you with all of that information. So I'm just a, I'm just a phone call or an email away. So please contact me. This is a question I get. So I've been teaching for a couple of years, or I just finished my undergrad. I really want to pursue a master's degree. Do you think that's a good idea? So here's what I tell my prospective students or my current students. Interview the person that you aspire to be like. So if you want to become a school librarian, if you want to become a school counselor, if you want to become a school psychologist, or a CTE director, or an instructional coach or a department chair. Interview that person, or maybe you wanna become a lead teacher. Interview that person, see what they had to do to get to where they are today, and then see if that matches your career goals. That's the first thing I tell students to do. Will a master's degree help you? Yes, it will. It will help your communication skills, your writing, your time management, your critical thinking, and I talk about writing because every master's degree program at AM Commerce requires a research class, a research 595 course. So you're going to get to 
really get the opportunity to write and increase those skill sets. And it also prepares you to enter into a doctoral program if that's something that you see yourself in the future. And so why should you get a doctoral degree? Well, it can help your problem solving skills. You can learn how to conduct cutting edge research. But most of all, you become a leader in your field. You're someone that people look up to, that want to talk to you and, and know your, um, your research and your credentials. While talking to students, they'll say, you know, I really need funding. I, I've got to have a way to pay for this degree. What, what can I do? Well, financial aid is available. That it does include loans. However, I would fill out the FAFSA because sometimes you could get a small grant and that could help reduce your tuition and fee balance. If you do pursue financial aid, you have to take six hours every semester. That's fall, spring, and summer. Summer, as you know, you could take one course summer one and one course summer two, and that will, will make up your six semester credit hours. But we don't offer financial aid in many semesters. Some programs, graduate programs, offer courses during the many semesters. You could only take one course during the many semester. So you can take a picture of this, and um, this way you have this information. Graduate student scholarships are available. They open in October. They're found in MyLeo. If you go into MyLeo under apps, you should see something about graduate student scholarships. It may not say graduate student scholarships, it will just say scholarships, but the graduate student scholarships are available there. And um, you can always email the scholarship office as well. We have a special initiative that's running for summer and fall right now, and it's the Quick Start Grant. You have to be employed with a public school or private school or a community college to obtain the Quick Start Grant. If you're interested, let me know, and I can talk with you more about that grant. Or if you have friends that are currently teachers, they may be interested in that, so send them that information. Teach Grant. If you're teaching in a high needs level and you are seeking a graduate degree for those that are in a high needs field, the TEACH grant is for you. You have to work at a Title I school. Now, if you leave a school district and go to another district, you just have to make sure that you're at a Title I school to continue receiving that TEACH grant funding. Before we talk about my um, contact information, I do want to let you know that the Next Step Scholarship is available for those of you that are graduating in May. You can apply for graduate school and receive $1,000 off of your tuition for summer or fall. So if this is my information. You can contact me via email or by phone. I like setting up Zoom appointments. I know everybody's probably Zoomed out, but I like Zoom appointments because I actually get to see you and I get to talk with you and we can establish a rapport um, online so that I actually know what you are interested in and I can try to find the degree plan that fits your future needs. So please contact me. Um, let's get together and talk about your graduate goals, your graduate school goals. Um, unfortunately, I will be out the rest of the week. I'm actually at a virtual conference for professional development for myself, and then I'll return next week. So you know, shoot me an email, call, leave a message. Um, I am conducting that professional development virtually. So I'm checking my emails periodically. So I'll be happy to get back with you. And um, I would like to have a meeting with you all if I can, just to um, tell you more about our programs and, and find a fit for you. Even if you're not gonna start right away, even if you're like, I'm gonna teach for a year and then go get my graduate degree, that's fine. Well, I have a lot of prospective students doing that. I can still give you the information. We can still see which degree would be best for you. So give me a call or email. Thank you so much for having me today. Have a great day.